The gross domestic product, or GDP, of a country is calculated by adding up all of the final goods and services we buy in a quarter or in a year. Say a baker buys wheat and butter to make bread. The cost of those raw materials is included in the final price of the bread we buy. The price of that bread, along with the final price of everything we buy, such as food, clothing, or electronics, is added to what the government spends on education, the health system, and other services. This creates that big number called GDP, or nominal GDP, which includes all of a country's exports while subtracting its imports. But it's not so simple to calculate GDP growth. If prices have gone up in a year, it means inflation is included. So it will not show whether a country has actually produced more goods and services. Price fluctuations can hide the real state of the economy. So by simply subtracting inflation to get the real story of whether a country's economy is contracting or growing, that is when economists use real GDP.